Hey guys, so it finally happened to us. The battery in this Rivian has completely died. It's been sitting in the shop for a couple of weeks. We haven't moved it. Uh, came to open the door this morning, would not open. So it seems like the high voltage pack and the low voltage pack, uh, the 12 volt pack are both dead. There is a method of going in here and grabbing a cable, but we wanna try a little bit less invasive method with back feeding the seven pin trailer connector on the back of the car. We're gonna see if that works. Okay, so what we're gonna try is this is what the trailer side normally looks like on a trailer. It's the seven pin connector and the female version of this is built into the Rivian. There is a ground wire and there is a 12 volt constant wire that we're gonna to try to back feed to get the 12 volt system up and running so we can open the door, open the charge door and get the vehicle charged. Um, so you can buy these at maybe probably Walmart or an auto parts store. We happen to have one laying around the shop. So we uh, went online, figured out the pinout of which color is ground and which color is 12 volt constant so we can back feed power. There's a couple ways of doing that. You can use a battery like what we're gonna to do today, or if you have a battery charger or something, you could back feed power into the vehicle. So let's give it a try. Okay, so we're here um, at the back of the car. We already have the plastic removed because we use the hitch a lot. It's pretty intuitive to remove that black plastic cover. You see there's the hitch and there's the seven pin connector. It actually has on that connector a pinout on the cap of which wires go where. So if you look closely at the cap, you'll see at seven o'clock, there's the negative brown. And at one o'clock, there's a positive, which correspond to the terminals inside that need to be connected to. Plug this in so that we could back feed power on this. You could also, if you were really desperate and you didn't have a connector like this, you could put a wire in there and it, it wouldn't be as, as clean as this, but um, that would work. So we're gonna plug this in. The vehicle. And then you could put this on a battery, put this on a battery charger. We're gonna use a set of jumper cables to go from a battery we have here into this. And the wiring on this is a little bit counterintuitive. Black is 12 volts on this particular harness, but yours will be different. Okay, so now we're back feeding power in the vehicle. Uh, we've never done this before, so I think we'll see what happens. I'll try to unlock the vehicle now. Maybe it might take a while for everything to boot up. I don't know, we're gonna learn as we go and it seems like the car's slowly turning on. We can't open that charge door yet, but I'm hoping if we let it sit here a couple minutes, it'll slowly boot up and let that open. So let's wait and see. Only half the, only half the lights are working and it's slowly kind of turning itself on. So the normal button that everyone uses didn't work. I had to actually hit the button on the dash to get this to open because the car's like halfway on, but we did successfully get the door open. Now we're gonna throw a charger on it and uh, put some energy in it. 